video, I'm going to show you how to uh, do an inflow and outflow. All right, so uh, when we first come in, we have that cube, um, which is fine. We can keep the cube, um, and we will use that. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, though. So make that a little bit smaller. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, another um, cube in here. So I'm going to add a cube. I'm going to raise that up. Now I'm going to make this bigger. So I want to make sure that this can encompass that smaller cube that I already put in there. I'm going to switch to wireframe so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so then I want to grab my little guy here, make sure it is in there. All right, um, back up a little bit. I think I'm going to raise it up a little bit more. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some obstacles because what we're going to do is create a fluid and a place for the fluid to go, but we want to add some objects that the fluid can bounce off of. So I'm going to add just a couple different objects here. So I'm going to add a, sh a cube and it looks pretty good. Uh, I think I might make that a little bit bigger so the fluid has a little bit more to bounce off of. Okay. And then what I'm going to do to make that an object uh, that the fluid is able to bounce off of is um, I will go into uh, the, the physics tab and I'm going to um, just go in and change that object so that it is going to be um, an obstacle for my fluid. Okay, so getting my little box here to be a fluid obstacle, you're just going to click on fluid uh, in the um, physics tab. You're going to make that a obstacle. And then uh, we're going to, I'm going to set that to free slip because I want the water to move easily. And then I'm going to just take and duplicate and maybe change the size on a couple of these, you know, just kind of give it some difference um, in appearance and just kind of play around. Okay, so go ahead, add some obstacles into your animation and then play the video once you are ready with your obstacles. Okay, we now have our uh, obstacles. I have a whole bunch set up here and then I also came over and added um, some color to it. So just came to our material and added some different colors. You can uh, play around with textures and things like that. So now what we need to do is we need to create our water source. So this is going to be where the water is coming into our picture into our animation. So what I'm going to do is click on that physics tab, click on fluid, and I'm going to make that the inflow because that's where the water is coming in. Um, you can play around with the different settings in here um, and you can, uh, you know, change it up. But right now we're going to uh, just go ahead and make that the inflow and then I'm going to go ahead and make it um, have a little bit of a bluish color to it so that um, we can see it. Um, and then uh, we can see that it has uh, a nice a nice look to it. I'm going to add um, a little bit of translucency to it as well. Um, you can add a little bit of mirror. So just play around with these settings until you get uh, where you think you want yours to look. You can always change it later. Okay, now that you have your water set up the way that you want it, uh, last thing you need to do is just make your domain box. So for this, we're going to click on fluid. Um, this is going to be our domain. Now, when you think you have it ready and everything is set up how you want, you'll just hit the bake button, let it bake, make sure it plays for you. One thing to consider uh, is I'm going to only have this go to 50 keyframes uh, because I don't want uh, too, too much uh, length in the time. So I'm also going to switch this time here so that it uses the full uh, keyframe amount. Okay, so my bake finally finished. Um, took about half an hour, uh, but what I think I'm not entirely happy with it. So I came down, um, switched this to free slip, uh, changed the smoothing around. Uh, you have a couple options here. Um, I had mine set to water. Uh, I'm gonna try uh, honey. That's gonna be really thick um, and kind of change it up a little bit. Uh, you can go down. You can play around. Uh, you can have it remove the air bubbles, keep the air bubbles. 
um, add some more subdivisions for it to get you a little bit more um, volume. So play around with these settings and rebake it until you get the look of this water coming down here um, or this fluid that you like for your uh, final project to have. Okay, now that I have everything where I want it to be, I am rendering uh, my animation. So the animation, as you can see, is going to um, have my water falling, it's hitting the objects, and it is going to fill that space. Now I've added an extra light, um, I've played around with the translucency of my water, the colors, and everything. So you wanna play around with all these settings, kinda see what you can do. Um, and really get that water to flow and have some movement and splash.